All right, everybody. This is Ralph Greenwood. Hey, I'm here in my humble abode. I got this big box. It's not a mail call. Been sitting here. It's not model railroading stuff. But I've been talking to a few of you guys about this. I've mentioned it a few times, talking in chat rooms, and uh, when I went on live streams, I mentioned it to a few people. But. This is sweet apple wine. I've got it in a five gallon carboy. It's been here for a good long while. And uh, it has been fermenting. It's already done its fermenting, but it's been aging. And, and well, I don't know if you can see it, but here at the bottom there's a lot of fallout, residue, or leaves. And what I'm going to do here tonight, I'm going to rack all this wine off of this residue without disturbing the residue. I'm going to rack it into another container. I'm going to rack it into this five gallon container. And then I'm going to hook up a hose and I'm going to put the wine in bottles and I'm going to cork the bottles. So that's our thing for tonight. All right, this is my equipment for racking or transferring. This is some half inch ID food grade hose food safe. This is a bottle filler. Um, as you can see it's kind of dirty and I'm going to get it cleaned up. This fits right on the end of the tube here like that. This will be on the end when it goes into the container that I will be racking the wine into. This is this is an automatic it's an automatic siphoning tool. What you do is you lay this this end right here down into your wine. If you don't want to put it at the bottom, you want to go towards the top. And then you will take this, you'll pull this up, and you'll go up and down about three or four times, and that will create, and you'll have your your ID tubing will be hooked on here. See, so it will be hooked up there like that. And it will create a siphon. Then on the other end of your hose, you'll have this. This is a racking cane. And your hose fits on there, and your wine's going to come out on this end. Now, okay, this is if I'm bottling, okay, which I'm going to be using this later. First, I'll be using this right here, this racking cane, because I'll be racking this, that wine that I showed you into this uh, five-gallon container here. You can see I've got it marked two, two gallons, two and a half, three, four. It will hold... It will hold five gallons. Plus, I also have, I also have a six-gallon bucket here, and I'll be needing to get the lid to the bucket. I'm going to get that down here pretty soon. But this is the main equipment I'm going to be using. And everything, every, all of this stuff, I'm going to clean it all up, and I'm going to sanitize it with this. This is Star Sand. Um, it's widely used by by home brewers uh, for making beer, wine. Um, you mix an ounce of this to five gallons of water, and this makes up a sanitizing solution. Um, you want to use this by itself, not with anything else. Do not mix it with anything else. And uh, as you can see, 
I've got an ounce there. It's got a thing that pre-measures your amount. So I've already got that ready to go. Right here's all my bottles. These are these are all 750 milliliters, or they are a fifth of a gallon. But uh, there's 25 bottles here, so that will cover a five-gallon batch. All of these bottles are going to be washed inside and out, and they're going to all be sanitized inside and out. Pretty good collection there. And one thing I do. When you, uh, if you decide to reuse, you know, wine bottles, once you empty that bottle, rinse it out immediately. Do not let the wine sit in the bottom of it. But, <clears throat> that being said, if you do, in another video, I will show you how to get that clean. Um, I've been in the cleaning business for many years. So, <clears throat> all right, I've got five gallons of water here. It's about lukewarm. Doesn't need to be real hot. You can use cold water, but um, I'm going to tell you right now, phosphoric acid, which what, that's what this stuff is, it, it likes warm water. Um, the warm water kind of boosts it. Um, I've cleaned all, I've got the, uh, the siphoning tool, I've got my racking cane, I've got the bottling wand that fits on the other hose, and I've got the hose down in here. And uh, now I clean this all with this, this Be Bright cleanser. Um, I need to get some more of it. I just used up the last of it. It's made by bsghandcraft.com. But anyway, that's what I used to clean with, and I did rinse it. I rinsed all these after I got done cleaning. They've been thoroughly rinsed, including the other uh, the five gallon container. It's on the other side of the room here. But I am going to bring it over here, because what I'll do is I'll put all this together, and I'll siphon water into that container and squish it around in there. The, the thing is, get the sanitizer all over everything so you sanitize it good. Okay, so I've got my star sand here. I've got one ounce of star sand to five gallons of water. Drop it in there. Now I've got Grandma's attitude adjuster here. Just going to mix it up good. And make sure this hose gets down in here. There we go. And I'll leave that spoon in there. And I'm just going to let this sit. I'm going to let this sit here for at least a good um, 15 or 20 minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll splash some stuff around. I'll get it. I'll, I'll turn this thing around, stick the other end down in there. Okay. And then I'll, I'll show you how I sanitize the, the inside of the hose. So we'll be back. Okay, but I did turn this stuff around. This is all, and I've got my funnel here. I sanitized my funnel. Okay, now I took my uh, I took a dish rag. It's sitting right there, and I also um, wiped down the counter here behind me because I'm going to put this back here. Let's dip this spoon real good, even though we're not going to use this spoon. Okay. Now, all right. Okay. Now, I drop the. This has not been sanitized yet. I drop my. Racking cane in there. Let's find the end. Let's get this. Okay, set this down in there. Oh. 
hook this line up. Hook that line on there. Okay, now. <coughs> Here's one thing you have to do. See this tip? I want to keep this tip above or the end of this. I want to keep this tip above this one. And this thing's all the way down in the bottom of that. So I've got to keep this close to the top here. Well, I've got, I'm going to have to put it down at least about four inches here. I hope you can. Let me see. Oh, yeah, you'll be able to see that. Okay. And just one, two, three. One, one. Okay. There we go. This will take a little while, but we're going to get about a gallon of water in there. The sanitizer does not require you to rinse, but I do rinse it because I just don't like the idea of all them suds in there. That's the way I do it. You can do it without rinsing. Plenty of guys do it without rinsing. Okay, I've got about, yeah, I've got about a gallon in there. So, let me put that back in there for right now. Already sanitized this. Just, just give it a shake. Okay. We'll dump it right back in there. That's why I like to rinse it. My water is, um, it is municipal water. It is chlorinated. Okay. That's much better. Dip this down in here. Then I'm going to take this big and go on the outside of it. I shouldn't need this spoon anymore, but it is sanitized if I need to use it. My rag I was using. Okay. Disconnect these lines. Give it one more dip on that end. That is ready to go. And sometimes these lines, if you just take and kind of pinch them a little bit and twist, work it around a little bit. Now the 
hose. All right. There we are ready. We are almost ready to do our racking. All right. All right, I'm getting ready to sanitize these bottles here. Fill them up. Got 11 bottles in there so I'll let them sit get my hands rinsed off here uh, I'll let them bottles sit in there for about uh, about 10 minutes then I'll dump them out and I'll just lightly rinse them um, and I gotta rinse my hands off too I'm gonna wash my hands whenever I use this these sanitizers like this and you get done you get it on your even though I was wearing gloves I still got it on my hands so but just use mild soap wash your hands all right now I've got my <clears throat> my siphoning tool got my 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 half and tidy hose and I've got my Racking cane. The racking cane will go into the bottom of the, of the my five gallon container here. Smells good. Put this down in there. Do not want to disturb this this residue at the bottom here. Grabbed a little sample there. Smells good. Mm -hmm. it tastes good too. Quite sweet. You can definitely taste, um, 
you can definitely um, detect the um, the alcohol tinge. I could say that. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is about. I did some measurements on it. Cat, I don't want her around here. I know. You'll be able to come back around later. Um, I'm thinking this is about 10% alcohol. I'm not sure. Can't remember. It's been that long. has a sweetness, it has kind of a bite. We are getting we are getting down to the bottom here. I do not see much residue at all. Yep, that's good. That's all she wrote. Run all the rest down in there. later. Alright. And I have a clean plastic bag here. I'm set over that. I've got a rubber band here. Put that over there. We got it rocked. Okay. Here is the wine. I've got to clean up this, get this hose cleaned up, because it got around and touched some other stuff, but I'm going to set this box over here in the meantime, because you want to keep wine out of the light. So, see you in a little bit. All right. Now, some people, they take and soak their corks and stuff like that. Well, I did that, and what happened to me was, when I went to open the bottle, the cork disintegrated. And I tried steaming them, and like they say, to steam them, and, and uh, it didn't work. They still did the same thing. And I talked to this one guy, and he made, he's down in Texas. And his name is Jack Keller, and he makes he makes all kinds of wine. He has a website. I'll put a, a link to his website at the end of this video. But anyway, this is the way he showed me how to do it. You have a big bowl, good sized bowl, and well, wherever I put it, there is a tight fitting lid around here somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Okay. All right. And you have a lid for the bowl, so this, so this seals up. Then I have another small bowl, which I sanitized. I let it dry. I put the corks in it. Now I've got. This is potassium metabisulfite. Um, this is used. This is used to kill wild yeast and disinfect and it will sanitize the wort of wine but when it's added to water <coughs> the way it works when this is added to liquid water liquid or water or any liquid it produces a sulfur gas so what I'm going to do is now this one here says two ounces, it says add two ounces to one gallon of water. Well, this is a barely a, a gallon here, but I put about, uh, there's maybe about a quart of water here, okay, that this bowl's floating in. I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit in there.
Okay. You just need a pinch. Then what you do, put this lid on and seal it up. Left one corner open just a little bit, and that will sanitize those corks in about 10 minutes. So, let's get our bottles ready. All right, remove this rubber band in this bag. Got my siphoning tool, and I've got my I've got my bottling wand here. Set that down there. Okay. See if I can get this started. Okay. All right. I've got a siphon started here. Right. Got our cork sanitized. Just, just take and just like hold on to that so it doesn't get away from us. Take one of these sanitized corks. to go in farther than that but okay there we go there's a good one
All right, here's the wine. I've got a few having to cork too good, but I'm going to open them pretty soon. Keep the wine out of the light. So, under the box it goes. All right, guys. Got my wine here. This is my wine cellar for now, till I have a temperature-controlled, you know, one of them, a wine cooler, which I don't have. But um, I have this in here. The temperature stays about normal because we're we're air conditioned. We got heat. So you want to make sure that uh, where you put your wine, the temperature stays about the same. You don't have, it doesn't get real hot or real cold. Um, it usually stays uh, between 60 and 70 here in this room. So I've got these wrapped up in newspaper. I've got 22 bottles of sweet apple wine. I got this one here. That's the one I'm going to open first. I was going to do a taste test. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, I'm going to wait a little while because sometimes when you bottle wine, you get what's called bottle shock, and uh, you wait at least 30 days. So that way the wine gets used to the bottle, gets used to the cork, it mellows a little bit, but the wine did taste good. It did taste good. It is definitely good wine. So you guys... If you guys want to see more videos like this, and I'm sorry this video is so long, I'm going to drastically shorten if I make another video. And you, know, you guys like and subscribe. Please comment. You know, if you want to see more videos on this, let me know. You know, don't be shy about it. So, talk to you guys later. You guys have a good day. See ya.